Well, hi everybody. Today we're going to do kind of a spur of the moment strawberry jam day because I had all these strawberries and I just happened to have eight cups of crushed strawberries in the freezer. So I let them thaw out. There's all this really yummy juice and I'm crushing them. And I've got the recipe from the fantastic so easy to preserve book it's the recipe that's on 212 super easy recipe for strawberry jam it's going to make about eight half pint jars and first of all it says to sterilize your canning jars you know why because this is only going to process for five minutes if it was processing for 10 minutes or more you wouldn't have to do that because the sterilization takes place in that 10 minutes but since it's only five we need to pre-sterilize the jars so i've got my jars over there, the water is getting ready to come to a boil. I'll let those go for 10 minutes. Then I'll turn it off, and I know those jars will be sterile. And then all we're going to have is two quarts, which is like eight cups, of um, crushed strawberries and six cups of sugar. And, yes, this is not a low-sugar recipe, so, you know, just don't eat tons of it all at one setting. Spread it out throughout the year, which is what I do. So, anyway, I'm going to crush these strawberries up. Don't they look fantastic? And then all I have to do is to combine the berries and sugar in a um, big pot and let them slowly come to a boil while I'm stirring until the sugar dissolves. And then you cook rapidly until it's thick, about 40 minutes. But you've got to keep you know, stirring it frequently to make sure it doesn't stick. And then all you do is pour it in the jars and leave a quarter of an inch headspace, wipe the jar rim and adjust the lids like we always do, and process five minutes in a water bath canner, or in a boiling water canner. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to crush these up a little bit more, and then I'll get them in the pot with the sugar. I'll mix it up, bring it to a boil, and then I'll let it slowly, uh, I'll let it cook rapidly until it's thick. And like I said, it'll take about 40 minutes. So I'm going to crush these up a little bit more because I don't want such big chunks. And I'll come back to you when I've got it all in the pot. All right, I've got the strawberries in the pot, and I've got the heat on about a medium high. And now I'm going to add all the sugar at once, all those cups of sugar. And I will do some low sugar things, but this is just, like I said, it's kind of a spur of the moment thing. I'm trying to clean the freezer out. And uh, this is just a quick and easy, kind of a traditional recipe anyway. Everybody loves it. But you know what you can do. I am also right now making yogurt, homemade yogurt. Um, and if you have plain yogurt or you make your own yogurt, you can take a little bit of your fruit preserves like this or some jelly or homemade syrup to flavor that yogurt, and it's fantastic. So there's a lot more things you can do with these types of recipes than just spreading them on toast in the morning. You can put some over a, a pound cake or in between the layers of a chocolate cake. Uh, just so many things. So anyway, that's one reason why I love having all kinds of food storage because there's all kinds of creative things that you can do after you've canned it. So I'm going to continue to stir this until all this sugar is dissolved and then I'm going to let it, it's going to come to a boil. Then I'm going to let it boil for a little bit until it gets nice and thick and by then my jars will be all sterilized and we'll be ready to put it in the jar and process it. So I'll see you then. Okay, this set in boiled for, I actually did just sit and stir it for about a half an hour and it thickened up and real nice. So now what I'm doing is I'm removing the foam because when these types of things boil, they'll create this foam. Now this foam, there's nothing wrong with it. It tastes just like the jelly or the jam. Yeah, the jelly or the jam if you're doing jam. It tastes the same and so I actually don't like to throw it away. Sounds really weird, but it's actually really good if you kind of want a, one of those fruit flavored um, cottage cheeses. You know, you can buy those ones that have like fruit in them. Just mix this with the cottage cheese and it gives it a nice flavor. It'll be like a strawberry cottage cheese. And I will have that as a snack later, so it's kind of nice. Anyway, just kind of scrape across there lightly with a spoon or something and skim off that foamy stuff. All right, so now got that done. I'm going to slide you back here. And I'm going to put my little dish right here, kind of tilt you down a little bit. Let me go get a jar and we'll fill you up. There's one of my jars out of the canner that I sterilized them in. And now we're going to pour this in there. Super nice to about half up there at the top. I think it was a half an inch. Let me look at page 212. Let me just verify it. It was 
a quarter of an inch head space so I could actually use a little bit more in there. Alright, get off there. Everything's so sticky when you do jam. Alright, that's just about perfect. And of course, wipe the rim and these jars are hot and the jelly is hot or the jam is hot so I'm going to put a little thing to protect my delicate little fingers. They really aren't delicate but hot is bad. Okay, so I'm going to wipe that off real good. And now I am putting a tattler lid on. I'm using tattler lids for a lot of my oil water canning now. Uh, tattler lids actually, they weren't officially approved, but recently it came out and said uh, that they're not, what it, the testing hasn't been done on how long they stay sealed. But uh, there we go. But they are okay to use. So I've got some of those because I like the idea of reusing them. The white ones that I have are the old style. So when they come out of the canner, I have to crank that, that ring down real tight. The newer ones are called Easy Tattlers. And I think they're kind of this green color and you don't have to do that with them. But I'm okay with it. So anyway, there's my first jar of jam. And I'm actually doing it in my little gel, my little pot over here because I'm just doing a small amount. I did use my big pot to sterilize a whole bunch of jars because I'm on my way. When I'm done with this, I've got a freezer with 25 pounds of blueberries and 10 pounds of huckleberries. So ultimately that gives me like 35 pounds because huckleberries can be used the same as blueberries. So I'm gonna be doing some syrup, some butter, and some pie filling with those. But anyway, I'm gonna finish filling up my jars and I will put them in the canner and I will let it come to a boil. Once it comes to a boil, they will process for five minutes. I'll take the lid off and let them sit for five minutes. Then I will take them out of the canner and I will come back and show you how fantastic they are when I'm done. Here we are with the finished product. I got eight half pints of strawberry jam and it's a terrific tasting. But anyway, so I've got that and I'm actually doing the exact same thing out of the same book on page 207 is the instructions for berry jam and like I said I have blueberries and huckleberries and so I'm getting started on that nine nine cups of crushed berries with the six cups of sugar just exactly the same as we did the strawberry one so instead of doing a video on this I'm just going to do a step-by-step -step instruction and I'll put that on my blog so some people like to read that stuff and I'll do a blog about it so this will be blueberry huckleberry jam and over there is strawberry jam and it's exactly the same recipe so I hope you guys try it and if you don't have the so easy to preserve book uh, you can order this I think I've got a link for it but it's a fantastic book it is uh, from the Cooperative Extension of the University of Georgia they're phenomenal so anyway there's another book of fully approved recipes for you so there's no excuse not to use a good approved recipe so anyway I hope you guys get an opportunity to make some fantastic strawberry jam and thanks for watching